everyone welcome back to my channel today I have a product review for you all and I'm reviewing the Maybelline BB cream 8 in 1 beauty balm skin perfecter with a broad spectrum SPF 30 this hit the markets not too long ago I got mine from Walmart I believe it was about seven or eight dollars comes with one fluid ounce so pretty much like your average foundation like a liquid foundation but it looks like not a lot of product I think it's just the packaging but it does have one fluid ounce now it claims to do eight different things for your skin so I'm going to read those off really quick. It claims to blur perfections, enhances, brightens, adjusts to skin tone, smooths, hydrates, protects with SPF 30, and has 0% oils and other heavy ingredients. So this is supposed to be a BB cream. Now first of all, I don't consider this a BB cream at all because it has no anti-aging products or anything to improve your skin now. It's just going to make your skin look better and hydrate it, but it has nothing to protect the kind of condition of your skin for the long run. So I wish, you know, that if it wasn't going to be BB cream that they would just call it a tinted moisturizer. So this is more like a tinted moisturizer. And I got the color medium. It does say medium sheer tint. This is definitely a sheer to light coverage barely anything at all. So I'm going to go ahead and insert the demo and then I will talk a little bit about it afterwards. As you saw, this gives barely any coverage at all. Now I do think it evens out your skin tone, however I don't think it really conceals. It didn't really do much for the dark circles under my eyes, it didn't really conceal the blemish I had right here. So it doesn't really conceal much, I just think it does a little bit of evening out for your skin tone. It is a very lightweight feeling, it feels kind of like a gel cream formula. So it's more of like a thicker cream, but it feels really light and blends really easily when you put it on the skin. It does kind of feel like you're putting more of like a sunscreen on or something. And also, for the colors, they didn't have a whole lot of colors where I bought mine. All they had at Walmart was I think a fair or a light, and then a light to medium, um, a medium, which is what I got, and then maybe a medium dark and a dark. So these are very pink undertoned in my opinion, and I have yellow and olive undertones in my skin. And I think the major things about the coverage is like whenever I look on my cheek, whenever I put it on I can see that like my skin showing through because it's so sheer on your skin I try not to tan my face so my face is usually a little bit lighter than the rest of my body so with this it's supposed to you know match your skin tone but I really want it to be a little bit more coverage and I just don't think that this BB cream is for me um, I do think it's really light wearing on the face but I have oily decombination skin and I notice after a few hours that I start getting into an oily mess. I do set it with a powder and still, like, you have to touch up. If I don't use a setting powder with this, I it's like unbearable. The first time I wore this, I did not use a setting powder and I was just greaseball. I think as far as the lasting power of this, I would say it would last for a good two hours without getting oily with the setting powder for me. And then after that, I had to kind of touch up. And since the coverage is so sheer, it's basically just making my face really oily. So I think the only thing I would really use this for is maybe as a primer. I'm wearing it as a primer right now under my foundation, and I think that it does a good job evening out skin tone. So I think I could use this as a primer, and then I could also use this for days I just really want a tinted sunscreen. Because even with concealer and stuff, it doesn't give much color to my face and it makes my face look kind of pale since it doesn't add the coverage and the color that I want. I am going to recommend it for what it does do. I don't really recommend this for a tinted moisturizer. I don't even think it has a whole lot of coverage to be a tinted moisturizer and I also don't think it's a beauty balm. I think it's more of like either a primer 
or something that's just going to lightly even out your skin tone and for those days like you don't want a whole lot on your face I think this would be great. So if you're just looking for something to kind of even out your skin tone with a really light to sheer coverage I think that this could really work for you. It's really light on the skin and I think this would be really really nice for people with dry skin. But if you have oily skin then I wouldn't recommend it because especially because it's summertime and it's hot so it just makes the oil even worse on my face. So that was my review on the product. I would recommend it if you have dry skin or you're just looking for something light to even out your skin tone. So I hope this review was helpful and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, let me know below and I'll try to get back to you. Thank you all so much for watching and until next time, I will see you later. Bye!